Now, tell me this. You were a mandolin player at the time that you auditioned to be the bass player. Tell us about how that came about and what that was like to audition, you know, on an instrument that was not your forte. Well, <clears throat> Michael, after working with Vern Gosden and his brother Rex, um, and they were so good as singers, as was Don, the other singer in the band, but Vern and Rex had that beautiful brother harmony. And they used to go out as, and do an, a Leuven Brothers tribute, sort of, because they were so good. They could do they sound like the Leuven Brothers. But I had high standards, and then I get I, uh, I hear uh, Gene Clark and Roger McGuinn, David Crosby singing with one guitar, and I went, "They're really good." I mean, I'm, I'm coming from working with the Gosden Brothers, and they were great. I mean, David Crosby to this day still is an incredibly good harmony singer. Um, <clears throat> so I get two weeks go by. I'd gone and heard them. My friend was managing them, uh, producing them, Jim Dixon. And, he had worked with me and the Squirrel Barkers and the Golden State Boys or the Hillman that became with the Gosden Brothers. And he calls me up and I have this horrible gig, Michael, with the, this group, the Greengrass group, which was like, it was like the Beverly Hillbillies trying to do bluegrass. It was just, it was just terrible. But it was, uh, it was $100 a week and I could eat and I had a place to stay. So I get a phone call two weeks later after going down and, and seeing those guys sing and and uh, Jim says, can you play the bass? And I immediately went, oh, yeah, sure, I can handle that. I <laughs> I knew what was coming. <laughs> uh, well, David was going to be the bass player. He doesn't, he's not comfortable. Can you do it? I said, oh, yeah, sure. And I'm going, oh, my God, uh, help me, Lord. So the first day I go down to meet them, I didn't know them. I didn't even know them personally. I knew who they were. Walk in there with this $50 bass. God knows where I got it. I can't remember where I got it. When I bought it, I don't know. But terrible instrument. Uh, but prior to that, Michael, I had never even held a bass in my hands. Okay. So I go in there and go, okay, okay. Expecting to see a fully set up band with amps and drums and everything. I go in there. There's one old amp in the corner that Roger McGuinn is plugged into. Gene's playing an acoustic guitar. And Mike Clark, the funniest, had cardboard boxes, one snare, and one cymbal. And I went, is this a skiffle band? <laughs> I love Lonnie Donegan. <laughs> and, and and which is funny because that's what John Lennon was a skiffle guy for the Beatles but I went okay so I plug into the amp with Roger and we start playing we get to know each other and uh, I realized then I said well, we're all coming out of folk music we're literally plugging into the wall and going to another level of music here Roger being the most seasoned player uh, was was inspirational in that fact I, I listened to him and I, I would play off of his 12 string playing until I finally figured out something to do decent with the bass, you know. But originally, I, I wasn't quite sure. I was sort of uh, dealing with the bass as if it was a bluegrass guitar, a bluegrass rhythm guitar. But I figured it out eventually. And the birds, I guess the best thing about the birds, we didn't have a blueprint, and we uh, we created a sound. You know, we just created a sound based on our background of folk music, bluegrass for me, and, you know, that. So uh, it was great. I I. I was a really lucky guy. I, I, I Michael, I, I asked Roger a couple months ago. I said, "Hey, I got to ask you something, Roger." He said, "I said, how many guys did you call for that job? Twenty-seven. He says, "No, you were the one. We called you. You were the only guy, and you were the guy that fit the deal. It was perfect." <laughs> wow. I was up down and it worked. I said, "Okay, oh great." I said, "After fifty-five years, <laughs> I don't have to worry." It was just <laughs> a funny thing we were talking about because we. Get together uh, usually weekly and have funny talks about the old days and the birds. You know, 